Canada is already behind schedule on vaccine deliveries due to the Pfizer slowdown. Well, now we're facing a new potentially greater hurdle. All of the vaccines currently used in Canada are made in Europe. And now the European Union is threatening to limit their export. CTV's Kevin Gallagher reports. Even with Pfizer production issues plaguing global supply chains, the Prime Minister promised the country will have enough doses to vaccinate 3 million Canadians by the end of March. As of February 15th, we will be back in the hundreds of thousands of Pfizer doses every single week. A promise that could be affected by the European Union's threat to restrict its vaccine exports, stemming from frustration over manufacturing problems with Pfizer and AstraZeneca. Europe invested billions to help develop the world's first COVID-19 vaccines. To create a truly global common good. And now the companies must deliver. The government says it's confident Canada's supplies won't be affected. This is not a game, Mr. Speaker. Lives are at stake. When can Canadians expect to be vaccinated? Six million doses will arrive by the end of the first quarter. There is a global race on to get vaccines, and Canada is urgently engaged in getting them. These vaccine shortages come as concerns rise over the more infectious virus variants from the UK, South Africa, and Brazil. Kevin Gallagher, CTV News, Ottawa. A made in Canada vaccine would help provide some stability to our supply, so this is encouraging news. Human cl clinical trials are now underway in Toronto on a made in Canada vaccine. Providence Therapeutics says 60 people here will be monitored for 13 months. The first results are expected next month. The Calgary based company says a larger phase two trial could follow in May, pending regulatory approval. If that is successful, the vaccine could be released by the end of the year. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Health says just over 9,700 vaccine doses were administered in Ontario yesterday. That means nearly 296,000 shots have been given since the start of the rollout campaign. And 83,285 people in Ontario are now considered fully vaccinated, having received both required doses.